Hi, I'm Britta from Trailer Chicks, and today I'm excited to introduce you to Leaf from Flying Fish Company in Portland, Oregon. And he has some beautiful, fresh albacore tuna that he's going to fillet out for us. And then we're going to make some um, pokey. And thanks for Great. coming, Leaf. Yeah, I'm excited. Thanks so am me. I. It's amazing to have you here. Thank you. You're Thank the you. star of the Northwest. Yeah. <laughs> Recently just voted the place to buy fish on the Northwest coast. So what do we have today? All right, so right over here we've got our uh, fresh local uh, albacore tuna. Wow. Wow, those so, are gorgeous. There's some beautiful fish caught right off the Oregon coast. I'm excited All right, to eat sounds it. Sounds good. All right. So these tuna are a little bit of a different style with filleting in them. Tuna have a different bone structure. They've got bones that run down the center uh, horizontally this way, and then they've got vertical bones. So it's kind of like a cross. Uh, so what we do is we take this out one quarter section at a time. So these are called loins. So we're going to take this top loin off. We'll talk, take the bottom loin off, and then we'll do the same to this other side. We'll loin it off, and then loin it off, and then we'll go after the belly, and this is the toro. This is one of the most prized parts on a tuna, is the, the belly, which has really high oil content. It's very fatty, very buttery, and rich. So we'll go, go after the whole fish here and, and uh, show you guys how to do. All right. Let's see how this is done. So first step we do is we need to cut basically right around the perimeter on this side. We're gonna start with this whole side of the fish. So we're gonna cut through the skin, just barely pierce the skin and cut a perimeter or cut right around the perimeter. And my recommendation to you if you're gonna go do this yourself is to just watch this video and then pause it and then do that cut and then press play, watch <laughs> until the next cut and then you know do it again. So first of all, I just barely pierced the skin, only about that far into the knife, uh, right down, just on the left side of this dorsal fin here. So boom, right down that side. We come, I cut a little slit all the way on either side of the tail there, and then we come back up just on the upper side of these lower fins here. Again, we're just cutting a perimeter cut, barely into the knife blade, right around on this side. I come up a little bit, up above the belly on this side, and then we meet back in. So now we've got a full perimeter cut with just a paring knife um, around the outside. You may never have ever seen this move you before, <laughs> but this is how you, one of the methods of doing albacore tuna. And you can actually just pull the skin right oh, off. Oh, wow. So kind of unlike a salmon, it's a different, whole different style here. So you just get a hold of the skin like that. You hold onto the um, fin there with one hand, pull the skin back with the other. You get a little bit that comes off here and there but on little pieces like this that just came off when I was uh, pulling that skin off, you can just kind of chop those off and uh, throw them into a bowl for later, and that's what we'll be using um, to do the pokey with. Uh, the first cut on here after that skin is off is just a, a slice right down this backbone, this vertical backbone here, and then we're gonna take a slice right down on this top quarter loin. Uh, this is the easiest loin out of the tuna. So are you cutting along the backbone? So yeah. You kind and, of hear it. Yep, I just did the vertical cut here along the backbone. Cut all the way there. And then we just line up just on this left side of this colored line that goes right down the middle. And this is pretty soft tuna, um, albacore tuna is. So you just have to be very gingerly with it. You keep your knife blade very clean so that the meat doesn't stick to it. And just take nice, long, steady strokes. Doesn't have to be high pressure, just long, steady strokes. Cut a little bit off the top. So I cut in along that top line. I cut along the horizontal line and you have the perfect voila, loin. There's your albacore tuna loin. The only thing that needs to get done at this point is to just um, take this bloodline out here. Most people don't eat the bloodline. It has a little bit of an off flavor to it. So take with a more thin knife, more of like a salmon filleting knife. You can cut down and then you scoop underneath because it's just this top little section that this bloodline is in. Scoop underneath that way. At this point, you could just slice steaks out of it or you could slice up uh, for pokey, cut it up into smaller pieces. Okay, so now moving on to the next cut down. This is the lower section off the tuna. We're still on the first side here. Uh, you just take a nice long slice right down the right side of this colored line here. Just let the knife do the work for you. You don't have to force it. And then you can hear when you finally get down to that bone, then that's about as far as you need to go. There. Now we take a little paring knife at this point and just basically cut in around the perimeter 
about where we cut that line in to get the skin off. Move slowly and steady, these long cuts. And there's your next beautiful loin off the lower section. So depending on how good of a filet you are um, is how much trim you get left with. Um, me being a pretty good filet, not a pro by any means, um, I, I get left with a little bit of trim. So there's lots of pokey material for me, um, for my shop when I'm filleting fish there. So you can take a, just a regular spoon and scrape um, across the bones there and it leaves you with, with what we call trim. You just scoop everything away that's more of a more of a pinkish color not the uh, dark red scoop it into your bowl for pokey and that's basically how you get your loins off now the last step here that we're gonna do is to get the belly um, the tuna belly is one of the most prized section of the fish so it has the highest oil content I take one little slice right there just above this uh, lower fin and then right above this upper fin here pierce it right in and go down towards the lateral down towards the lateral. Then literally all you do is you just lift up this top section and peel the belly back. So as you can see, you never have to gut uh, albacore tuna when you fillet it out, when you loin it out, because you just section out each quarter away from that, and then the, the innards were touching right here on this inner membrane. So that will be the next step. So at this point, this is what you do to get, um, you gotta take this membrane off. So we leave the skin on for the belly, but you've gotta get this membrane off. So you just kinda like getting the belly bones off of a salmon. You've gotta take a slice and then just try to work right um, parallel with that membrane. So you're just basically trying to cut underneath this membrane, slice off this membrane. Okay, and then there's a little um, hard section that goes down from the, from the fins down. So we're basically just gonna take this side of the belly at this point, cutting through the skin, always a little bit harder than the flesh. And then here's your tuna belly, albacore tuna belly very high oil content. All the white is the omega fatty acids, so it makes it very buttery, very rich flavor. And there you have it. Two bellies, got some beautiful albacore loins, ready to turn it over to Britta. So now we have the trim that we're gonna use and we're gonna make some pokey, which is a traditional Hawaiian preparation. Leaf trimmed up this loin really nice, but we use the end pieces and we're gonna chop those up and add them to the pokey because you may not always have a whole fish that you have trimmed. So Correct. you can use any part of it to make pokey. One of the qualities with, with sushi is going to be, first of all, uh, what species it is. So there are certain species of fish that we eat for sushi and there's certain that we don't eat right. um, for parasite reasons or anything like that. So first of all, you have to make sure that the type of fish you're eating is one that people normally eat raw. So this is just gonna be cut up into small cubes. Poke is a traditional Hawaiian food Initially, I think it was made as a kind of a way to use raw fish and preserve it using salt. I've seen it with all different kinds of tuna and salmon. The main thing you need is some firmness with the fish uh, so that it doesn't you know, fall apart into mush, but also you don't want something that's too, a type of fish that's too firm. First of all, I just added a little bit of toasted sesame oil, a couple teaspoons. We're gonna add some tamari. You can use, if you have soy sauce, use that. I just like the flavor of tamari. For your friends who are gluten-free, tamari is wheat-free, so maybe a quarter cup. And then we have some hot chili peppers here that are just diced up finely. And some white onion and green onion. And then we have some ginger, and this is a neat trick with ginger. You can peel it just with a teaspoon. Hmm. 
just the skin comes right off. You don't lose any of the ginger. And it's a really simple method. You don't have to have an extra tool. And then I'm just gonna grate that right into the bowl. This is a great, I love these microplane graters. They're good for cheese or ginger or zesting citrus fruit. And then we'll just give it a stir here. This is something you wanna eat fairly soon after you make it because the, the fish will kind of start cooking from the tamari. And, and then have this little avocado here. And then I'm just gonna scoop it out. Are you ready to try this? Let's try it. I'm looking forward to that. My mouth is watering, you, actually. You awesome. Go first. Okay, a little avocado there. A little piece of uh, the <laughs> albacore. Better get a pepper on there, too. Just won't touch my eyes with it, like <laughs> yeah. you told me to earlier. Let's try yeah, it out. Yeah, be careful when you're cutting chilies. Mm. Use gloves. That's perfect. The texture with the avocado in there and the albacore together, it really just all melts together in your mouth. A little bit of sesame oil, that's really important mm. to have in the pokey. That's absolutely perfect. That's awesome. Yeah, that's great. Leaf, thank you so much for coming out. It was so incredible to see you fillet out a fish, tell us all about it. And I'm excited for your company in Portland. I'm glad you came here. Thank you, I appreciate it. What a pleasure. I appreciate yeah, you guys no. using my fish and enjoy. We're, we love it. Thanks for having me. For this delicious recipe and a link to Flying Fish Company in Portland, Oregon, visit Trailer Chick online.